Welcome to QP Tech 1.3 and in this video we're going to have a look at the primitive electric generator, uh, how to set it up, how to transfer basic power. So you can make this your crafting window once you've made all the subparts. Might do a video on some of these parts but you should be able to figure it out slowly in the game and there's machines to make making the parts easier as you go. So right now this is off, but it's a basic setup other than the water tower, which you can uh, watch the water tower video if you want to see how to build that. But it's not necessary. You could just have a barrel here with some water in it. Actually, why don't we stick a barrel up there? <laughs> I just lost all my water, so I'll have to be careful. So without water, the generator when it's making power will explode so that's good to know generally but the water tower will put out plenty of water or you can just manually top up this bucket uh, or the barrel with a bucket so you can see here oh we're almost out of fuel so any fire pit or the cast iron stove or the industrial furnace uh, any type of fire pit block underneath that's heated to at least 800 will be enough to start this, which I've turned it off, which you can do by right-clicking with the screwdriver. So now it's running. I don't know if you heard the little hiss, but that means that uh, it's used up some water, just to let you know. And you can see, well, maybe you can't see the video, but in the descript text uh, there, you can see output. 20 flux on and actually you can see on the meter it's making power so of course we want to do something with the power and this is a part of confusion for a lot of people when you place this down this is the front and that's the back and the back is where the power is going to come out so if you put wires here here wherever you're not going to get any power out of it so we can start adding whoops Got to line it up just there. We can start adding our wire. You can check, you can see the flux going through. Now, it's a little, uh, I guess, odd how it goes sometimes. The power will bounce back and forth in between these wires. So that's why you can see it going crazy. So the best way to stabilize your power is you can either put your device right here so it gets power direct or build a battery and put the battery fairly soon on in the uh, the wire run. So the battery acts like a, a battery, obviously. It stores this power. You can see it filling up. But it also acts, I guess, as a, a diode, or it makes the power directional. So the power is not going to bounce any farther than here. The battery, when you place it down, this is the front, and that's where the power inputs. And then it will you could take power off of these three uh, outputs. And of course, you can stack batteries up. Actually, let's uh, show you the junction box, or sorry, the cable junction. So if you need power to go up and down, you can use uh, this part here, the cable junction. Uh, it will send power up and down. Let's add some more batteries here. So they all get, it's split. power is generally split. It's a little wonky sometimes. Uh, you might notice it favoring one direction over another. But if you have lots of power going in, you shouldn't really have too much of a problem. So for here, you could put devices on any of these. You could actually put, I'll just grab a quick one here. What do we got to work with? Uh, oh, the electric forge. So I could just stick the forge either right here. And I'll do a little video on that. Or you could stick the forge off of there. Of course, I have to wire that back up. Or you could put it there or whatever. Same with the other devices. Some devices have specific sides that they like power from. And the forge, actually, I should go and fix that. 
it looks like it wants power from this direction, but it actually will accept power from all directions. I believe even from the bottom. Yes. So, if you want to, if you wanted to hide your power underneath, that's where the junction is especially helpful because you could build around here. And then you just have this little, I guess, in-floor heating. That I don't think it... Actually, it might do uh, count as heat. And I shouldn't mess around with this too much, but you can see it's getting power. It's starting to heat up that ingot. And that's really the basics. So you need heat underneath and water on top. Now we can do a more advanced setup. Uh, if you want to figure it yourself, you like this should be, you should have all you need to know now. But if you build a bronze fire pit stoker, and I'm gonna do the industrial oven. It's not necessary. You can always just use a fire pit, but this does get you a slight bonus to heat. Uh, and do I have a chest? I'll just grab this chest. So what you could do here, I'm going to steal back my coal, put it there. So once this runs out, obviously it'll start to cool down. Once it gets below 800, you're going to lose power. So what the f fire pit stoker does, and I should do a video on this setup separately, but it will feed, it will keep, as long as there's this is running and not off or I'll turn it off it will automatically check the chest above it and it will feed fuel to fires that need it all around the four spots here so you can see it's let it run out but if I turn it on it'll put one piece of coal in there so the nice thing with this is you can kind of walk away somewhat it's only going to be feeding one piece of coal in there at a time and if you turn that off i mean you just don't have to worry about it oh the other thing it will do and just for fun let's grab the industrial oven so see it's as soon as i put it down it's automatically lit up the oven that's the other thing it does so it's putting one bit of fuel in at a time and it will light as needed. So this is turning into a fire pit video, so I should probably stop. But I'll go over all this and, and how this setup works in the next video, probably. Uh, but for now, you can see you can use it to keep your generator running. And of course, this water tower, which you can also watch the video on, is keeping it fueled. So basically, as long as you've got fuel in here, which you could also use other things to fuel it, just as long as it goes to 800 degrees, uh, you've got power. Not a lot of power from this little thing, but power nonetheless. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and we shall continue our series later.